I currently have two pairs of trousers on, two pairs of socks on, three layers of upper clothing on, a buff, a headband, a pussycat hat, all because we're going for a run today. <laughs> Baz, what temperature is it out there today? I think it's about minus one. <laughs> minus one. We could do that actually. What? Just stay here and be nice and warm and be comfortable. We could. But we don't do that kind of thing, do we? No. So something needs to be done. We're gonna jump in the car and we're off to the a local woods called Reindeer. It's ridiculously stupid idea to run on the pavement yeah. in this weather. The traffic out there, the roads are slippery, pavements are slippery. So let's find a suitable place to do some suitable training. So we're going to jump in the car. In the non-suitable weather. Exactly. And I'll tell you what temperature it is when we get in the car. <laughs> it is gone. My um, my trainers only just do up because I've got two pairs of ski socks on. So look how tight they look. I know. <laughs> I look like I've got massive water retention. Right, let's see what temperature it is then. Big fat zero. Let's have a look. Um, so we will see you in Don't the rain. woods. Well, we've just turned up at the woods. No music playing in my headphones. This is just to keep my ears warm. So where are we, Luz? Uh, we're in Rain D Woods, but this woods is like MOD ground, so you've got to stay on the track. Public prohibited from straying from public footpaths and right of way. That's us. We've got to stay on the footpath. I must say though, I come out here on the mountain bikes quite often and normally there's like groups of army guys doing their training down here and it's quite funny if you remember the scene from um forest gump when they say hold get down and they all jump into the side of the route inside of the road that's what happens here when you get past them they gump and they go camouflage so you can't see them right Let's get cracking, let's start running. How many of you guys want to go running or you want to go outside for a walk but you're like, oh, it's too cold or it's too dark or something like that. Well, shit, this is icy. <laughs> this is exactly why, because let's just face it, the weather in this country let's is keep walking. shit, right? It's not good. Mm. It's been snowing, it's been windy it's been raining and we've just had enough of it baz and i like to be outside so rather than running on the roads we thought we'll come and run in the woods because it's a bit more exciting better scenery better scenery and better grip just have a look at what we got How you feeling? Did you hear that? Gunfire. Right? What? Did you hear that? I think they might be shooting at us, Loz. Do you like my kitty hat, by the way? You ready to go again? I'm born ready. We're doing alright. How long are we going for? There we go. 23 minutes. It's all good. You ready to go, Lutz? Yeah, just finding my... Just finding a Wonder Woman track. I am, actually. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Let's go. Lots 
Aussie determination. We've just hit two mile, two miles in. We're both blowing a little bit, a little bit puffed out with the cold now. So I said to those, what do you want to do? Because literally the car, we've done the loop, the car is literally behind us. And guess what? She's just said, let's keep going. What kind of dog is this? Take your sheepdog. He's, he's a puppy. You're Be careful because he he will stand oh, to no, you. Oh no, he will. He's stand up. So <laughs> How tall does he stand? Um, so you are he's beautiful. Shoulder. Um, sixty on kilos. Hello. He's a puppy. Sixty Hello. Your kilos. Yeah. He's nearly as heavy as me. Well, have a good day, mate. You're not doing a love and lap, are you? We might Maybe. do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my that god. That dog is 60 kilos. I'm like 65 kilos. And he's only a year old. He's nearly as heavy as me. He's a year old. That's going. He's not fully grown. <laughs> That's. Yeah. I'd love to see him in like two years. That'd be well impressive. <laughs> Three point two miles completed in a steadily fifty minutes, which is pretty good because we're off road. It's cold. We stopped it's... to do camera stuff. Yeah, we stopped and a bit. And to talk to a dog. And to talk to a dog. The dog is amazing. Beautiful. How do you feel, Lozzy? All right. My hip flexors are yeah. like wow. All in my <laughs> hips. My butt cheeks. That was good. They feel good as well. I haven't run. I haven't run since last year. I haven't run since last year. Really? It's my first run of the of like like September, August last year. You feel pretty good? Yeah. Nice. I reckon if I kept it up, I could probably do the circuit in about 30 minutes. Give it a few months. Yeah? So is that our goal for uh, before the summer gets here? Yeah. Yeah. 5k in 30 minutes. Yeah, without any uh, camera bits, obviously. Sorry, guys, in <laughs> fitness. So, we've just done a couple of laps here running. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just. Say hello to the world. <laughs> so, will we, will we see it on the box? Absolutely, you will. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Even me. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. We'll make oh, it. <laughs> what, a, what a windfall. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a good day. And like your spatial awareness of going around you is like non-existent. You don't care what anyone else taps into. You just run. Barry, we're running. Yeah, but if I'd have tripped over and busted my ankle. Well, not. I kept turning back and listening. If you were seeing, if you were there, you were there. You were running. You were fine. Oh, she doesn't. Look, I get oh, in. She the doesn't. Zone. I get in the zone and I focus and nothing will disturb me from the zone. Do so, not disturb me while I'm training. So focus and ignoring everybody is the same thing, is it? No, I <laughs> yeah, I turn around and go, you're still running, you're fine, get on with it. If you're on the floor like, ah, then I'd be like, okay, there's a problem. There's I'll a problem. meet you back at the car. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want me to pull forward then? No. Oh, I could actually climb. No. You're not climbing through the car. Why not? Because. Because what? Give me a good reason. Because you'll ruin the seats. I won't. I'm going to do it. I don't care what you say. I bet she doesn't take her rucksack off. Nope. See? Good job we're not, not escaping from anything. Oh. Time for do it. Nah. That was good, did you enjoy it? I really enjoyed it actually. I love being outside. Yeah. With you. Yeah. In the woods. Yeah. Sounds really kinky, but just doing something physical. Yeah. I mean, something... <laughs> that sounds even more kinky. Fingers crossed. <laughs> But yeah, no, I think it's really cool. I think the biggest thing, I answered the door today and a lady delivered me a parcel and I was like, oh, it's 
goal. And I was like, oh my God, we're meant to be going for a run in that. It's going to be freezing. And that's the hardest part, thinking it's going to be cold. It's, the, it's your perception of what is going to happen out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, it's going to be cold. I want to stay anyway. But why, what, why do you think the worst? Why, oh, do you, why do you always bring up the... It's, I'm not saying you in general, but you bring up, oh, I don't want to do that because of the worst. Rather than, I want to do that because of this. Because it's bloody free. But no, then, are you cold? But then I thought, you know, it'd be nice to actually get out the house because if I stay in the house, I'll work. So I thought, no, I'll go out the house. So what, what do you want to do now? Do you want to go and get something to eat? Like out or do you want to eat in? I fancy some food. I'm starving. I know, I'm hungry. Do you know what I fancy? What? A burrito. What, do you want to go cafe? What, like this? Why not? Have you got a wallet on you? No. But then we go on like this. <laughs> <laughs> so guys that's our little vlog for today if you like this then give it the thumbs up and i'll tell you if it tickles your bits hit the subscribe button and i really appreciate it we say it every time but it's you guys supporting this channel which makes us do more and more and more so the more support we get the more productivity we're going to be able to do and we're going to be able to bring you some cool stuff as well. So, so we really appreciate it. Thanks for listening to us waffle on today, guys. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed our run. And we'll see you on the next one.